All right, well today, this is my second time doing this job. I'm gonna replace the seals, these five little guys, on the oil cooler and coolant housing. This right here, I gotta take all this stuff off. It's gonna take me a few hours. I did this about a year ago to the exact date when I first bought the car. Somebody thought they had a um, head gasket leak, so they put head gasket sail in there. When I realized, which I, I've never worked on a 3.6 motor, that there's oil that leaks down inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down there. And coolant, and there's only oil this time. What it is is, I torque these down, I think there's seven or six or five bolts. The bolt is down and you gotta do them in sequence, which I did, but I think I torqued them to 20 and they're supposed to be factory torqued at nine foot pounds. So I'm gonna take that out, <clears throat> replace these $15 seals on this five hour job probably, at least five hour. It's gonna take me at least two and a half, three hours to get all this stuff off. I'm in no hurry. I'm also watching Unsolved Mysteries on Pluto TV <laughs> while working hard. Dodge Challenger 2012 3.6 Pentastar motor. Seal removal of those. Bazam. It's a very common oil leak and coolant leak right here. And people always think they get a head gasket blown or something messed up like that. And it's not, it's actually a very common thing down there. Look inside your motor to see if you have that. So I'm gonna start by loosening all this stuff right here. Put the throttle body and the intake to start with. All right, well I got this part of the intake off. There's these bracket, this bracket right here. It is a 10 millimeter, one there and one behind here. And there's another one that's a bitch in the very bit far back that has a plastic cap on it that holds all these wires down there. You have to really see it if you're gonna do this job, but you'll know see what I'm talking about. Just warning you. You gotta get that off so that this piece will come off. And there's a piece over there. There's just brackets, but I'm just gonna loosen them from right, right, right there, and right over there is another one. All right, well I got that really hard ass one. You can see that that bolt, that's the one that you gotta get off to get the bracket off. But this is the culprit that is a bitch to get off. This wraps around the big wire harness so it doesn't shake. But trying to get that off and not breaking that at the same time is it's inevitable that you're gonna do it. So I put it back on though. I just gotta get that off. And then this will be ready to be taken off. Okay, I got it out. It's a 13 millimeter or a half. That's the bracket for that. There's three bolts. There's the nuts, and then here's this that goes in the back that that locks onto. It's a bitch. And the bracket, I just slid it back. There's something connected to the wire, so I'm gonna leave it alone. This is the bracket though. As long as this is free of that bracket, this will come off. It's ready to come off now. I got all the nuts. Boop, 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 and boop on your face. And then I got these two, there's one, those right there, one, and two right under there. All right, I got it off, so I'm gonna work on this other area. That took me like probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes, not that bad. All right, well, I listened to these bolts right here. They're Torx or they're, I used the uh, eight millimeter to get them off. Pull that stuff off. 
getting everything out of the way. I gotta, you know what, I'm not gonna loosen the feeling, I'm just gonna back it off. All right, well, I'm gonna drain a little bit of the oil. I took off the pan. Drain a little bit of oil out, and then I'm gonna drain a little bit of the coolant out. So when I take off this oil cooler and cooling housing to replace the seals, oil and coolant doesn't gush out of the bottom of the motor. So I have to replace the coolant and the engine oil. People, most people do. That's a lot of job just to to change that. So I'm just gonna drain it a little bit and make sure none of the oil or coolant goes in either porthole. All right, I'm gonna attempt to take this off so I can replace the seals. I drained the water, the coolant. I couldn't drain the oil, so I'm just gonna deal with it when it overflows a little bit by when I take that off. I've done it before, I just gotta clean up the mess. There's gonna be no water though. I don't want to drain the oil. All right, well, there is a bunch of oil in here. I got napkins in there and stuff. So it was leaking. I don't know if it's from the housing that's cracked that I have in there. So the oil loan trip wrapped in the bag. Or it's from Jiffy Lube and they spilled some and it went on top of the housing, which I saw and didn't notice before last year when it was leaking oil from the seals or the cracks. The housing was cracked and I bought a new one, but it's not an original Mopar. So it could be cracked but I've only had it a year. Or it's just the seals that I tightened down too much last time. I don't know, we'll see. All right, well, I'm replacing the seals. I've got this one replaced, this one replaced so far. And if you could see, this one looks crooked, the circle. I feel like that's what's making it messed up. This isn't factory OME Mopar. I made a mistake of paying 150 bucks rather than 350, but I thought I could get away with it. I feel like it's this. When I first bought it a year ago, I saw that. Fuckers. All right, I got the housing in. I torqued it down to nine foot pounds. I cleaned these out right here, so these are nice and clean. I'm gonna put the lower intake in. The sequence to do this at nine pounds is bolt number one, two, three, four, and number five. Do it in that sequence. It'll still nice and good to nine pounds. Don't force it. The last time I think I forced it on there and it wasn't right and when I tried to loosen it today it was really loose so that could have been my problem the seals weren't sealed right so make sure you torque them down I actually went to Pet Boys and got one of these a drive beam torque wrench works just fine it cost me $16 and like 25 cents handle your business I didn't want to wait for Amazon they were going to charge me 20 bucks too and it's gonna come in three days. I need to get this shit done. All right, I got the lower intake torqued down. 71 foot pounds. I'm gonna put this on now for the top. Upper intake. Quick note, don't forget that pat heat padding. I did it last year when I did this job and I had to take everything off to put it back on. Don't do it. And make sure you hook these, that screw right there, into that one and into that one. If you don't, you can bolt it down nice and neat. If you don't get it under those, those, that right there and that one right there, you have to take it all off again to put it on. It's a warning. And this is the sequence for this. It's one, two, three, four five six seven and that is that's 91 foot pounds so I do got it on there to torque down I'm gonna put the intake connect the wires over there the stuff and that's it all right well it's all done I'm just gonna add some water to it because I took all the water out and some coolant I'm gonna do a coolant cleaner I'm gonna use this stuff Drive it around for a week, 
and then after I'm gonna do this and I'm actually gonna put some um, preventive maintenance which is steel seal I don't have a head gasket leak but I've had one before in a Chrysler 300 2.7 I replaced the motor four and a half times I had the car 14 years then I got this one I'm gonna do preventive maintenance and buy steel seal for 80 bucks it'll save me in the long run trust me steel seal is amazing